Okay, Vino Black folks, and basically they they got one camera down for no reason at all, pretty much, because they can replace it. They don't want you to see it, and what they don't want you to see is right here, and you can go to the photos and catch it too. And this is not the tower, because basically I'll let it play. And what you need to watch for, you see this riff here? There's actually some kind of smoldering or mountain range on whatever. And when I say mountain range, there's a high range. It could be a plateau. It could be anything. A big riff or what on ever planet or whatever object it is. Plus also it could be a possible uh, crater in which we know what craters are. They're actually what something has hit something before. Either that or a volcano type craters, okay? And you get a real good image off of what it looks like here and as it moves away. And it, no, it's not their portable little radar dome, which we've always known that basically the radar dome is right there on top and we busted their balls on that a long time ago. So this is what's actually down there and what's actually freaking people out. And that's no radar dome, okay? And as you see, there's an, you know, there's not a perfectly sphere there either. And all radar domes are perfectly sphered round. And you can see that it, it rotates of some sorts or moves somehow because you get a different look of the edges of it. I and mean, I'll take you to the photos of it and they'll match up too. And there's the most damaging right there, which is actually, I mean, pretty much all of the unroundishness. So we'll blow this up to like, we'll plop to 400 first. We'll scroll down. We'll scroll right. Then you'll get a good idea of what kind of riff or volcano that's on it or something like that. Just by looking at that there. And then I think we can probably go along and it'll come across, across to us. I just got to know if I'm going to hit back. We'll step here and I'll see. Yep, this should get us. So if I go up a little bit, I should be able to get it here and just keep on stepping it across. And then you'll be able to see the unroundish. It's not no radar dome. As you can see there. And I think I should be able to keep hitting the step, keep bringing it across, blowing up at 400. And I got to scoot up just a little bit to be able to get the button. And you'll get this. Somewhat of a, a good resonation of what we got for a surface there. You barely get this and bring it across again. So that I'm not trying to hide anything from you that's on the top of it or anything. And as you can see, that's no radar dome. That's about as roundish as it gets. There you see enough that it almost looks like some kind of current off of it or something. Is it formal hot? The idea of formal hot should still be pretty hot. Shouldn't be a shadow. Formal hot, if you look at the uh, stats on it, so this might be the fallen star that's fallen out. As you can see there, it's not perfectly round. But you know, it's as you can see all the way around the edges, it's not perfectly round. So, not perfectly round. Ain't no radar dome. That's it. What is it? Maybe you. 
Is it Nibber? Nibbo the Hippo. That's the new one now. Nibbo the Hippo, because you know that it's not no damn radar gun. That ain't no radar gun. You can see that riff. You can see that riff. I'm gonna bring it across. And they either got a typo because this has always been the South camera and you can go to it and play this. This is the South camera and they've got listed as the one that's down is the South camera. Well, it's not the South camera. And let me show you some pictures you can get from the South camera, which basically is this camera down here. Basically, I'll just bring them up to you, front of the screen to you. Let's go to the pictures there and that's what you get. So that's the South camera, i.e. the icebergs out in the ocean. Okay, so they've got a typo or something. And let's go look at what I was able to get from. Basically, I think you should be able to go into them real fast. I just you can see it. Pictures last 24 hours. And you get your object in front of the sun. So basically, you can go watch the movie. And then you already know that this basically is an object that's in front of the sun. And more than likely what you see in the shadow in the south. So. And then it puts off that huge picture of it right there. So. There's a good shot there with the rifling of some. And then our object gives us this, is all you always see this. You always get like a halo effect. And basically, that's it. Again, the object there, but that's just a 3D effect of it. And it'll show up over there in the next frame. There you go. You can't miss that. Very good shot of it. There you go again. There you go, blown up at 800%. So pretty much matches the shadow that you're seeing in this in the sky on the south camera, or actually not on the south camera, the north camera, the one that's looking at the station. And we are at the station, because basically there's a windmill, and here's the station to the right. And it's today's shot, or the recent shot, so. There you go. I'm going to back it up. There it is again. And there's our image that it puts off, 3D image, it's in front of the sun, or beside it, because this is the South Pole. Here's the latest on the quakes. I thought this was an interesting 4.9 in Egypt. Iceland's got more action. Greece, 4.1 also. And I believe it's uh, refreshed itself again while we're sitting here. So 2.1 Italy. 
think it just refreshes itself anyway, so. 5.1. Micronesia region. Micronesia, sorry. Sweden and the Baltics got something that didn't get put down as far as what it was for a magnitude. The west coast of northern Sumatra. And yeah, Alaska had 4.4 this one today. Got Aleutians. Show them more page. El Salvador has been getting racked pretty good. 5.7, 5.9, bunch of 5.0s. Salvador has been shaking a lot today. And that's just below us in South America, folks. And I have my Earthquake 3D is down right now. I'm not working with the hoop. Not trying to alarm anybody here either, but everybody needs to start paying attention to Mount Rainier. And also, up in Washington, the St. Helens area, and north up. These are all seismical. What's going on up there? Blow it up a little bit so you can see it better. The Washington area. These are all seismic activity that's been going on. There's your strong motion, short period, broadband. And also, got this information on the radiation from Fuka Fudge up. Okay. Sublime, most everything when they say that there is a uh, radiation uh, false. They're not falses, they're actual readings, okay? They just make it that way so that the government doesn't screw us over and not us let it be able to see it, okay? And this is the jet stream map of where that was probably going to go, that spike. So, yes, there's the American-Canadian border right there, okay? But this stuff probably lingered around our jet stream. Radiation, folks, rads. And this is earthquakes, folks. So, and also the Yellowstone area, okay? Tons of actual factual data, which I really think is very relevant news. So, here you go. And basically, there will be the, there you go, last two hours. And that's the Washington area. Let's see if I can pull up the Yellowstone area. But remember, the yellow is last two days, okay? The very brightish yellow, I guess, or lighter yellow is two weeks, okay? But these are all the last two days, okay? And we'll check out Mount Rainier. And here's a graph from Mount Rainier. You see they're getting some spiking, getting some reads. A lot. Okay. And it goes through the hours. 2300 hour, 2200 hour, and so forth. So, something to be aware of. And I want to thank All Roads Goes to Coffee and or All Roads Leads to Coffee. She sent me some stuff on it a while back and then everybody from uh, We Know Where sent me the information today on this. So, also some action at Mount Baker a little bit. So, be aware. To calm you, we can look at also. And here at the 1400 hour at Mount St. Helens, the old dome. There was a little bit of activity, so she's not exactly dead, but not exactly really lively either, but that still is something there, okay? 
Yellowstone at Madison.